Hello MechWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to your daily dose of MechWarrior Online. Today guys, we are playing the Champion because I wanted to play long range lasers and that's what we are doing today. The Champion is a 60 ton mech, so usually I would build something like that, something similar on, on a medium mech, or something like a Shadowhawk or anything. Um, that could work, but it also quite works on the Champion here. Why? Because um, it is 5 tons heavier than a 55 tonner, I mean it's a 60 tonner. And we have room for a good amount of heat sinks. That enables us to actually take the extended range large lasers compared to the normal ones that we recently played on the 3N, I believe. Let me quickly check. Yeah, the 3N, that was the build that we tried already. It's uh, three regular larges and three mediums, but the lasers are spread all over the mech, and um, I didn't really like that. So what we are doing here is we cut one laser, but we get um, the extended range now. That means that we can engage earlier, and um, yeah, we can trade hits more efficiently when the enemies are out of range and we are in our optimal range because we have, you know, a range advantage. Light Engine 300 makes us rather mobile here. We are running 81 kph and then helps us repositioning. Also, we have that dead side here, quote unquote, uh, which has only heat sinks in there. So when you need to absorb damage, take it to your right shoulder and not to the left where your large lasers are sitting in. If you lose that side, you are down to two mediums, which is not that good anymore. And uh, again, that should be your shielding side. Let's take a look at the skills before we jump into the games here and as you can see we have taken the good old laser duration path down here on top of a bunch of range nodes on top of cooldown here and that's basically it. I was amplifying the armor that we have with the skills and that's because the champion is coming with some nice armor quirks and since they are already um, relatively high, the armor values are relatively high, you can get some very nice benefit out of those additional relative numbers here so that is cool. We also have, obviously, maximum cool run. We have the rated deprivation that helps us ducking down to cover after we shot and then losing line of sight. And as a result, the enemies lose the locks quickly. And that makes them, you know, hopefully not hunting us and uh, switch to another target so that we can pop up again. And then we are going for, of course, double cool shot. And I'm running an artillery strike today. That's the build, everybody. I wish you all a lot of fun in the two games that are coming. If you have that, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And now it's time to hit the battlefield. Alright, first game of the day, we are playing the Caustic Valley, we are playing, uh, what is it, Skirmish here, and I really hope that we can set up here on the Delta 5 area, because I like, I like defending a spot rather than running around in circles trying to catch the tail of the enemy's NASCAR, so I'm gonna set up here, and I'm gonna wait if somebody peeks, because I am ready, I have range, I can shoot, and I can possibly kill, I mean, not in one blow, but eventually we will get enough damage in, so... Let's see. Target there are the enemies. Arm. And honestly, I just want to cross. I'm crossing Echo 4. Ah, never mind. I'll stay here. <laughs> there are people there in Echo 4. And I drop artillery on their face so that they will be pushed back. Yeah, the peak was coming, but the peak was late. That's what um, I was baffled about. Uh, I thought they were already in the like Echo 5 area, but no, 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 no. They were actually going for Echo 4, but it just took them a while. So, game dynamics. Learn them. Learn how fast the game uh, advances, or how fast the enemies advance to a certain spot in order to react appropriately. Mm, okay, that, that was good. We dealt some damage to that brawler dude. Hello, mister. He didn't see me because I have ECM from a buddy around. That's super good. It's extremely helpful. Uh, enemies in Echo 5 already. Um, the Scorch is a brawler, by the way. LB20s and SRMs, be careful. And yeah, we're gonna we're gonna wait here. We're gonna wait until we find some more enemies. Oh, hello, Mister Phoenix Hawk. I think we can we can play it slow here. Why the hell not? Uh, but now we have people pushing. I'll bring a left side. I'll bring a left side, and he's down. Or oh, his ECM is down. Also, heat vision now because he has a target very close range. And we are overheating. Holy cow! Holy cow! Luckily, we didn't get any damage here. Okay, what about those guys? I mean, there is a guy. It's the Hellbringer. And yeah, that was the side torso that I was... No, it was not. It was just the arm. Otherwise, he would have lost his ECM. Alright, and now it's, for me, at least, time to cross because I want to be in their backs. I also want to cool down a bit more. The UAV is gonna be a problem. I don't like this. I don't like the situation at all. They have two UAVs up, Echo 4, Echo 5. And, uh, yeah, they now will, you know, go over here and watch the spot where we are, thanks to their UAV. I don't hear peeking, honestly. No, 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 they know that we're here. 
Why? I mean, they are facing our direction. That's what I'm scared of. But I have to peek his advantage here, I think. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, no, I didn't. There was too many of them. See, if, if, if it was one guy, yeah, sure, but that's too many. And also, we are getting pushed now. So, let's retreat from here. This is a Viper. Not really the scariest target in the world when it comes down to our firepower. But I'm a laser build. I deal my damage over time. So... No. I don't want to contest the Viper. Not right now. Not yet. Hello, Mr. Phoenix Hawk. You want to peek again? Obviously not. I'm getting shot from the side, but our huge arms are actually holding up here. That's the great thing about this. We have arms, and those are just there for shielding. Those arms are made for shielding. Um, problem is that we are fighting on two flanks. That's not really beneficial to our overall game plan. I'm stuck. I am stuck. I'm so stuck. That is not good. Dude, careful. <laughs> we are in a peaking situation. Uh, you know what? Uh, one shot on the Mauler, Lima. One shot, Lima. Mauler, 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 Mauler. Ooh, twist angle was done. I couldn't twist in any further to get the damage on the point where I wanted it to be. That was bad. But hey, this guy gives us a favor of standing still. So we will capitalize on all of that. Absolutely. Alright, on the cutoff rack now. Now my problem is... That's a bad one. My problem is that... I have two problems. I'm hot. And my pitch angle is not really good in this situation here. So, yeah. What to do here? That's the Viper. Alright. We are three and four. This is an extremely slow paced game. Sorry for that. On the Viper. Legs, legs, legs on the Viper. Go for the legs! Come on, buddies! Uh oh. That's too much. That's way more than I can chew here. Ooh, no. Wait. You were damaged on the side, weren't you? No, you weren't! Holy cow, and your pulse lasers. And that is me dead. No! No! We dealt 700 damage though, so I hope that my team can bring it to the end. At this point, we're sadly out of the game. Uh, because their fast movers were closing in there, were trying to hunt us down, which was a smart move there. Honestly, we were doing our shenanigans for way too long, and uh, it was just a matter of time until they get their skirmishers in to help out and reinforce on their flank there. Was, again, a good move, but hey, we have the Viper softened up a lot. So I wonder if my team can bring it to the end and, uh, you know, just kill them all. That's a good shot. Uh, don't shoot your LRMs, they just generate heat here. Uh-huh. Go for the legs on the Viper and he will not bother you anymore. Not the LRMs, dude. You don't deal damage. You just generate heat and you overheated yourself there. Okay, the street cleaner is basically out of the fight, which means we shouldn't calculate him into this score anymore. Which means that we are... Oh, way behind in terms of kills. Don't shoot your LRMs. Yeah, that's fine. Also, he's getting shot from the back. I don't know if he doesn't realize or if he just doesn't care. That's it, sadly. It seems that we had a lot of laser builds, a lot of energy builds, uh, which um, explains why we were, uh, or the team in general, was relatively passive in the first phase. Didn't want to push anything, didn't want to force anything, and uh, yeah, they would rather drag it out a little bit longer, which is fine, because this was my battle plan as well. Uh, we, however, got three kill most damage dealt with one killing blow, five assists, 683 damage done, and four components destroyed. And that was the first round. Let's go over to the next one and see how this will go down. Alright, second game of the day. We are playing the Viridian Bog. We are playing um, a Skirmish. Yeah, well, and we will go up here to the Echo 5 high ground. And then we are going uh, to shoot people. That's the plan here. So let's set up and try to get some early damage out. Because early damage is mostly free damage. And it's good damage. It's so, so rewarding. Having, having the enemy softened up early is so damn good. Alright. Question is, how much will they retaliate? Uh, answer is a lot. Okay. Uh, guys, I, tr I tried to peek here. Don't block me, please. I got a lot of damage because of that. Oh, the people behind me. I have no idea what I'm shooting, by the way. Yeah, I think it's fine, though. Oh, artillery? Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna back up from this. That's not good. I just don't want that at all. I'm pretty happy that it was artillery and not an airstrike, because an airstrike would have still hit me if I went back like that. Hello, good sirs. 
All right, I dropped artillery on their heads in return. Oh god. And uh, yeah, we're gonna see what's happening. Either. All right, big guys are in the bottom, which is nice. Ah, oh, not good. Not really good. We put a lot of our laser burn to the wall here. On the Atlas, guys. He's alone. Let's kill him. Kill the Atlas. Listen to the man. Listen to the man. Okay, that was a cool shot for nothing. Uh, not good. I'm gonna help you out with the Victor. I'm gonna help you out with the Victor. Kill him. Yo, we got the Atlas. That's good. By the way, in a situation like that, I wish I had regular lasers. Right, That's yeah, low ground, guys. Low ground, left side. Left Go for the night here. Wow, on, that's on, triple LB10. Scary. Alright, and now I need to fall back to second line. And I'm gonna cool down a bit. Uh, it's fine. We, we are doing a good job here. We have two kills already on two of their assault mechs, which makes four kills in total. Uh, wait, what? That's math. I'm not good at math. It's echo. Yeah, it's looking very solid. You know why? Why it looks like that? Because my team is working together. Go for the big guys, guys. Oh god. My ass yeah, left side on Mad Cat. He's pushing out. Can we get him? Uh, yes, we could. And now we have to cool down again. Oh my god. Stupid heat. Why, why would heat be a thing in the game? I mean, I, I like that it's in the game because it makes uh, the game more interesting, if you ask me. Yep. At this point, we are going with the large lasers, unless I need to amplify my damage to a certain component, like that. Oh my god! It's kind of scary what they are doing. Also, it's kind of scary what I'm doing to myself. But who needs arms? The damage was going in the arms, that's just extra heat that we have, extra heat management. Extra sh structure that we can uh, get rid of. And uh, Niger down! Ding, ding, ding! Was a side torso, unfortunately, but hey, I think at this point it doesn't even matter anymore. It is fine. But yeah, I didn't really get to snipe, but <laughs> hey, we were doing a wonderful job here, helping out with not only damage, but also our armor. Oh, don't hit me. Ooh! Hello, Mr. Krabs. Invisible walls, by the way. I was, I think, pretty much on point there, but I couldn't get the hit on the guy. So, 51%. I still have more than half of my mech. I think my mech tech should be should be very okay with that. I mean, it is a tool. And if I wouldn't use that tool, what um, craftsman I would be, right? So, here we go. Last guy. Low ground. I want to snatch the kill. <laughs> we could, couldn't get it. Oh, Putin was in the game as well. Alrighty. So, very good focus here. Very good teamwork. I liked it. That is how you do it, guys. That is how you play together and, uh, you know, focus down, single target, and then spiral down from there. We got two killing blows, nine assists, one kill most damage dealt, 648 damage done with seven components destroyed. And that is your daily dose of today, everybody. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There is the link to my Patreon page. And I hope to see you on the battlefield. Goodbye.